Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me for another math session. So this is the fourth part of the same chapter. So let's start. So in the previous one, we have seen the uh, exercise of the same chapter. Uh, this uh, actually this workout is nothing but the revision part of it, like all the mixed questions of the whatever are given in the exercise. Only the numbers have been changed. So let us see uh, for the first question over here. Now, what does this say? They, they said that choose the correct option. Okay. So now uh, look at here. They said 250 chocolates are to be distributed among A students. Okay. So here the expression for the uh, number of chocolate received by each student will be how much. Okay. So now what does this say? Each means this is one. So there are A number of students. So what are we going to do? We'll see here A students. How many chocolates are here? 250 chocolates, okay? Now look at here, for one student means we are going to write here below this one. This student and this student comes together. This is how much. So what are we going to do here? As I told you before in the, this one, so here uh, I'll write it again. That is A students, that is 250 chocolates, okay? And one student is... We don't know that is how much, okay? So we are going to cross multiply. So whenever you cross multiply, you have to look at the two numbers which are together that you have to write in the numerator. So 250 into one is going to be 250. And this is alone, this A is alone. So you are going to write in the numerator, okay? Or in the denominator. So what happens here whenever, if you don't do cross multiplication over here, so you don't know where to write this A, whether you have to write in the numerator or denominator. So the, in this such type of problems, the cross multiplication works fine. So your correct option is 250 by A. So can you see here, they are given A by 250 also because many of them do that mistake okay so um, just follow the cross multiplication method okay so now let us go for the next one so now uh, these are the terms given so you know mono means one bi means two tri means three and poly means many so how many terms are here one two three four so this is going to be a polynomial okay now let us go for the next one variables are also known as the other name for that is the literal so here you don't need any explanation now numerical coefficient of minus m n will be how much so what are you going to do here? Now minus mn, and minus mn means here, uh, this is the variable, but minus is there. So here there is one which we cannot see. So the coefficient of that is going to be minus one and not one, okay? So your answer should be minus one. Now look at the next one. It says the constant term. You know the constant term. These all are given in the gloss in the first part of this chapter. So you just go to that, all the detail explanation. Constant means without a variable. So this is the expression given. So what we can see, this is just a number. It doesn't have any variable. So the answer is minus 37 by 9. Now it says, what is the value of P by 2 if P is equal to minus 2? So this is the expression given, P by 2. You have to just put minus 2 in place of P. So here it comes to minus 1 hope that is clear now we will see for the general term in the series these are the numbers given okay so now uh, this n uh, they have given n uh, the term as uh, uh, they have asked for the general uh, terms okay so we uh, they have given everywhere you can see n so what are we going to do for the first term let us calculate so we, wherever you see n you are going to put one so 10 into 1 minus 9 so 10 minus uh, 9 is going to be 1 isn't it but this doesn't satisfy this first number is 11 so this cannot be now let us go for the two this is second one so 10 into 1 minus 1 so what is that 10 minus 1 is 9 so again this is not possible now let us go for this one 1 plus 10 1 plus 10 is 11 okay so now this is 11 and this also is 11 now we have to look this is the further first term we have to look for the second term if we are putting here 2 2 plus 10 because uh, here, so that is 12. So what happens here? This is also not possible. If you are putting here 3, 3 plus 10, that is 13. So this also is not possible. So even if the first uh, term is the same, you have to look at the other terms as well. Okay, so this also is not possible. Now let us look for the next one. So we are putting here 10 into 1 plus 1. So that is going to be 10, 10 plus 1, that is 11. So this is same. Again, if you are putting 10 into 2 plus 1, because for the second term, we'll put 2, right? So here, 20 plus 1, that is 21. It's satisfied. Again, once we try one more, 
10 into for the third term is 3 plus 1, 10 into 30, 30 plus 1 is 31. So it's satisfied. So this is the correct option. Hope that is clear. Now we will go for the next one. Express each of the following statements as an algebraic expression. A number increased by 9 and then multiplied by 15. So we don't know what is the number. So let us write here that let the number be x. Okay. Uh, let, we'll go step by step. Okay. Increase by 9. Increase by 9 means this number is increased by 9. So what will be that? Increase means addition. So this was considered the x. So increase by 9 means be x plus 9. And then multiplied by 15. So uh, this number, whatever we got, that is multiplied by 15. So 15 into x plus. This says that there is a multiplication sign over here, which we cannot see. Okay. So that is not necessary that we have to write that sign. So 15 into but this bracket is important because there are two terms. If it was just 15x, no need for the bracket. Hope that is clear. So this is the final answer. Now x divided by 5 and subtracted from y multiplied by 2. Well, let us keep this from, uh, let us think over that later. First, what it is x divided by 5. So you're going to write here x divided by 5 means x by 5. Okay. Then uh, what did they say? Y multiplied by 2. Y multiplied by 2 means 2. 2 into y means 2y, okay? And now let us come over here. Whenever there is a from, okay? After from whatever that is, uh, the, uh, the statement is given here, so that we have to catch, okay? So what did they say? Y multiplied by uh, my y multiplied by 2, that is 2y. So 2y should be at the star. And then you will put a subtraction sign and whatever is in the star here, that will be over here. After just I'm repeating, after from whatever is there, that should be the star. Hope that is clear. So now next says that 5 less than 3 times a number divided by 40. So 3 times a uh, uh, number, let us skip this at the side. 3 times a number means, uh, first uh, you can write here, let the number be x. You can put here, let the number be x, okay? So 3 times a number means uh, 3 multiplied by x. Times means multiplication, okay? Now we will look here. Uh, they said 5 less than 3 times a number. So 3x minus 5, correct? And you are going to divide it by 40. So divide it by 40, okay? So the next one says that the product of 2, product means multiplication, 2 and a number increased by 4. So uh, we are going to consider the number as x. Product of 2, uh, product of 2 and a number. Okay, so 2 and the number product means multiply. So 2 into x, in this one, you are going to multiply by 2. Increase by 4. Whenever there is a word, it was increased by 4 means this number is increased by 4 means plus 4. Okay, now the next says that 8 times the sum of a number and 5. 8 times, okay. What, what did they say? Sum of a number. Sum means addition, okay, of a number and 5. So we, are, we don't know what is the number, so let the number be x. Sum of a number and 5. Number and 5, sum, means you are going to add this one, okay? And uh, then what does this say? 8 times the sum of the number and 5, right? So 8 times, this is over here, 8 times the sum of a number and 5. So this is the answer. Next one is they say group the like terms together. So like means same. Okay, so now what are these one? We can see here x, here also x, and here also x, okay? So we are going to put you know, separate by bring it together. So because they would say bring it together here, yeah, we are going to put an addition sign. So this is one in the bracket because these all are x. Then what remains is y and y. So we are going to um, bring to this together and put here y and y. Okay, and we don't have to solve it further. If they tell us to solve for them is this minus x plus x goes off. So what will remain here is 5x. And here plus, and here no, this uh, when you add this means there is one over here seven one plus seven that is going to be eight y but we don't want this answer we just want the just they ask us for the grouping and one more thing because this is a long expression what you have to do you have to just put a tick mark five x you will put here x this we are going to put it here this we are going to put it here uh, this you are going to put it here okay so now what you can see that you have put put all the uh, variables right. In the proper place means you haven't missed anything because even if you miss something to note down over here, you, the answer will be wrong. Okay, so make it a habit of putting a tick mark when you note um, right in the uh, this and the when we do the grouping. Okay, now uh, goes here. Now uh, what I did here because this x was first, I just put here this x and four x. So this is in one bracket because both are the same. Put a plus sign. 
this and this are z so that is in the other bracket so that's done now for the next problem that is uh, m and m so here i put in one bracket n and n i put in the other bracket in between there is a plus sign and what you can see this plus 8 that is alone without a variable so that is outside okay now now let us see for a uh, a is alone so we'll put it here now for b this and this one so we are going to put in one bracket uh, then again this and this one but along with the sign remember here especially whenever there is a negative sign you have to put a negative sign huh? that is very important so variable we have to look go back and see what is the sign so that is in a bracket now to perform the following operations a b into b c a is alone so here is alone b into b so you know b into b means there is one and one so one plus one becomes two so b square and this is c okay so a a b square c now 25 a square divided by 5 a so what are we going to do we are first we are this is division right so we are these are the coefficients right so we are going to divide the coefficient so 25 divided by 5 so that is going to be 5 now we are going to divide it a square by a so i wrote it in the vertical divide the variable so this i have written for your understanding so now here not a, a square means a into a and this uh, so what happens this and this gets cancelled so this is a so now what this is not a final answer so what are you going to do uh, because i have just uh, divided the coefficients and this one to avoid the mistake so this uh, final answer is 5 into a so that is 5a okay so this you have to bring whatever this answers you have to bring it together now the next one says that 38 abcd divided by 19 ab so again here you are going to divide the coefficient so 38 divided by 9 is 2 then the variables this you are going to divide the variables so abcd divided by ab so a and a b and b so what remains is cd so again here the same here you have to compare this and this right two is here because this are the coefficient and cd means you have to mix together that is two cd next problem says that this is multiplication okay here is multiplication so be careful now this minus 81 into 9 that you have to multiply the coefficient that is minus 7 to 9 then what are you going to do multiply the variables pq into rs that is pqrs then bring this together multiply this together means minus 729 pqrs ah, now this is very important now can you see here this is addition so what i do you are going to add the uh, coefficient so 23 plus 8 31 but now here look at the variables when you write here 23 xy and plus 8 xy okay so this will be 31 but these the variables remain the same they are not so variables remain unchanged we can say this is very important so you have to just write x y whether it is plus or minus both is the same the variables remain unchanged okay now here see here okay yeah there is a no subtraction problem here so 34 and 14 is 20 so you have to subtract and of course the variables remain unchanged over here because there is a negative sign so you will just write 20 xst now the next question says that arif's present age is y years and find his age after five years so after five years means now we are going to add it so present age is y so after five uh, sorry six years means you are going to add y plus six okay now his age three years ago means before three years this is present age is y before three years means it is going to be y minus three okay now the what does the next question says that his mother's age who is five years older than twice of his age okay so what are we going to do first we will think what twice of his age twice of his age means the age is given as y years right so twice of his age means this is of 2y correct and then they said five years elder his mother is five years older means 2y plus 5 hope you got it now his grandmother's age whose age is four times his age you know his age is y four times means you are going to multiply so four, four y years the question says that his father's age who is two years older than his mother uh, mother is here 2x uh, sorry 2y plus 5 okay and uh, father is two years elder so you are going to add two but then this is not a final answer 2y and this plus 5 plus 2 is going to be plus 7 so 2y plus 7 is a 
file I'll answer. Okay, now look at the next question that says that a car charges rupees x per kilometer for one kilometer. That is, the charges are uh, rupees x. If a customer is given a discount of 50 rupees on the total bill, then write the algebraic expression for the amount the customer has to pay for traveling 6 kilometer. So this is very simple actually. Now for 1 kilometer, that is uh, x that is given here. So for 6 kilometers, how much? So now see a kilometer, a kilometer together. So when you multiply, cross multiplication works over here as well. So these two you are going to multiply. That is 6x and this one goes in the denominator so that is going to be rupees 6x but then this is not done then they said a discount is given at 50 rupees so you have to subtract this is 6x from there you have to subtract 50 hope you got it then the next question says that Rima has 12a flowers and Ria has six flowers more than Rima so 12a and this is more than Rima means you are going to add plus 6 okay so 12a plus 6 flowers and this should be written in the bracket because there are two terms so brackets is very important okay now they said uh, now look at this question uh, rahul spends uh, rupees y daily and saves rupees z per week what is his income for three weeks okay so now first thing what we are going to do they said the spending right so here let us see the spending the weekly spending is how much so weekly spending is daily spending into number of days in a week right so number of days in a week are how many seven so daily how many uh they said daily spending is uh y isn't it the y is said okay and the number of days in a week means the seven so we are going to see how much is in the week so you are going to multiply by seven so that is going to be uh, 7y okay so uh, what would we get we, we got this same thing is written over here one week spending is uh, 7y so what we want we want for three weeks spending right first we'll think of the three weeks spending and then we'll think of the saving part so for three weeks means what are you going to do it's simple you are going to multiply this by three so that is going to be 21y so this is something, this is for the spending. Now let us see for the saving. Saving also the same. One week saving is, it is already given here. Z per week. Per week means one week saving is Z. So again, we will see the same thing. Three weeks saving. That is 3Z. Okay. So once we know the spending and we know the saving, so now we will find out the income. Income is very easy. What is this income for three weeks? So income is nothing but total saving plus spending. So how much did they save? 3Z. Okay, and spending, how much did they spend? That is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, that is uh, for three weeks, right? So that is 21Y. Okay, so uh, this is something, this is, this is Z and this is Y. So what did I do? I wrote here because uh, alphabetically when you see Y comes first, right? So Y and this is Z, okay? So even if you write this is not wrong, but let's make it a habit of writing alphabetically, okay? So this is the answer for that. Okay, now see here Akash has two uh, toffees and his brother Amit has six toffees less than Akash. How many toffees do they have together? So Akash is having tea, uh, this tea toffees and his brother tea toffees less than Akash means what? First let us say tea toffees less than Akash means it is going to be uh, less means T minus six. Okay, so now look at here total toffees. They asked the total toffees, right? So here Akash tea toffees and this Amit means T minus six. So when you add, you remove the brackets t plus t minus 6. So what will you get over here? t plus t means 2t minus 6. So hope this is clear to you. The next question says that 18 years ago, this is ago means before, okay? Sandeep was p years old. If p is equal to 13, how old is Sandeep now? Now means the present age, okay? We don't know the age of Sandeep. Sandeep present age. So let us write here. Uh, Sandeep's present age means ago means before it was 18 years ago Sandeep was P years old. So present age can be write like this P plus 18. Isn't it? So we are going to add first. So now what I am going to do this is the expression what we got. So they said uh, put P is equal to 13. So we are going to put here P is equal to 13 in the equation. So what are we going to do? This same equation I wrote over here. So it is going to be 13 plus 18. So that is going to be 31 years. So now we will want the present age. Now means the present age. So Sandeep is 31 years old now. Okay. So now the next question says that write the terms and the numerical coefficients of each other following terms. So these are the, this is T1. So how many terms we have? One, two, three. So what did I do? I did uh, this one into uh, the sections that is the terms and the numerical coefficient. So what did I do? This term I wrote here, this term I wrote here along with the sign. Huh? 
फोर्थ आई रोड किया सो ना वेन यू आर राइटिंग द टर्म्स ओवर यू आर नाउ फॉर द कोफिशियंट कोफिशियंट मीन्स जस्ट द नंबर जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस वेरिएबल सो माइनस फाइव अलॉन्ग विद द साइन फॉरगेट दिस वेरिएबल थ्री दिस फोर इज अलॉन्ग सो फोर ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन सेज दैट दिस दिज आर द थ्री टर्म्स सो दिस वन टर्म सॉरी दिस वन टर्म दिस वन टर्म एंड दिस वन टर्म सो सेम टर्म ओवर यर same term over here along with the sign over here so now we will uh, cut down the variable so coefficient is 24 cut down the variable the coefficient is 5 uh, cut down the variable the coefficient is minus 2 so hope that is clear so by this we we have completed this chapter so uh, i uh, so we can stop over here so before that please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get the notification of the other part of the other chapters and many more thank you